Hey everybody, I'm Becky Adams. Thanks for stopping by my blog and my YouTube channel today. Today I have a really fun project to share with you using the Christmas Delivery Collection from Cartabella Paper and dies and the new Platinum 6 die cut machine from Spellbinders. So first of all I wanted to show you this Platinum 6 machine. And this, as I said, this is a Spellbinders machine. And the first thing that I noticed when I took this out of the box is um, what a high quality, what a high quality machine it is. It's really heavy. It's not one that you would want to pack with you to a crop or something. It, it's quite heavy. They do have a smaller machine, the Prism die cut, die cutting machine, that would work well for crops. But today, we're just going to talk about the, the Platinum Machine. And like I said, it's really heavy. And it's got, it's easy, really easy to operate. And I know that some people have a hard time with how hard it is to crank die cutting machines. And I really don't think that you'll have that issue with this machine. So the project that I have to create for to create along with you today is a gift bag and I'll show you um, this is the little gift bag that we're gonna create it's gonna be a little bit different than the sample that I've created here but uh, we're gonna use three three spellbinders dies so I have the naughty or nice die and the boutique die and then the other die set that we're going to be using is called the Fall, Bot Fall Botanicals die set. And the only thing that we're going to use out of this die set, if I can just open here, there's just one tiny piece in here that I really like, but it was it's these little leaves. And I'll show you here in just a minute um, how well those cut. But I wanted to start with this, these bigger dies. Okay, so I'm working with the Boutique and Naughty or Nice die. And what I wanted to try with these dies is a couple of different things. I wanted to see, I wanted to try cutting um, a few sheets of paper. And I also wanted to try cutting different materials. And it cut, um, I think I cut, I cut, let's see, one, two, three. I cut four of these stockings and it cut beautifully. And then, but what I wanted to show you is um, a couple of different materials that it can cut as well as just regular pattern paper. So when you get the Platinum 6 machine, like most die cutting machines, it comes with three plates. There's this heavier white plastic plate that gives you all of the instructions on you know, what kind of sandwich you need to build. You don't need this one though if you're using these thicker steel roll dies. You only need that if you're using the, the wafer thin um, or, etch, or the etched dies. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to cut just I've got some corrugated um, tape here I got it just at Tuesday morning it was really inexpensive and but it is adhesive backed and I was curious how the adhesive back would do in the die cutting machine and so I'm just gonna cut off a little a ch little chunk of that my machine just right there and as you can see, I just cut a little piece. I hope that you can see that on the camera. I'm not sure if you can, but I'm cutting a small piece just to go over the cuff of the stocking. And just to keep that in place, I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of washi tape. And I'm only doing that because I'm gonna place a piece of paper on top of it so I won't be able to see whether or not it has shifted. 
So that's the only reason is just to, just to hold that in place. And then I'm going to put just a regular piece of pattern paper. This came from a 6x6 six six paper pad. And I'm just going to make my sandwich here. get it going through my machine and you'll hear just a little bit of cracking and that's completely normal um, as you can see these plates have already been well used um, so you will hear a little bit of cracking it's not a big deal it's totally fine so just really quickly after running that through I have the stocking and the little cuff to go along the top just going to take that piece of washi off and I'm not going to use this piece of the die cut on this particular project I'll save it save it for another project I'm just going to use these two and just to get going I'm just going to peel the adhesive backing and I'm just going to put I've just got some cute white pom-pom trim and I'm just going to stick that underneath there just because it's already got the adhesive backing on it. It's really nice to, I need to make sure though that I put that on the right side. I did. Okay, and then I'm just going to trim off the excess. And just stick this right into place. And there's the base for... The little stocking to go on our gift bag and then the second thing I wanted to add to this little stocking is a, a bow and so I'm using the boutique die and then the other kind of fun medium that I wanted to try is faux leather paper and if you haven't seen this before, it usually comes in a roll like this. This one is from Silhouette. You can buy it in natural, white, and black, I believe. But if you've never played with it before, it's kind of fun. And it really does feel like a, like a faux leather. And has kind of that leather texture. It is quite a bit thicker, and so I was curious as to how it would come through on this die and I'll just show you really quickly that it comes through really really well and so here are the little pieces that have come through on the faux leather paper and the boutique die and just because it takes a minute for the glue to dry I've gone ahead and assembled the bow and just let it dry for a minute, but you can see how cute those bows turned out. And then you can just use your finger to kind of shape the bow however, however you'd like. So we'll just set those aside. Actually, we're going to set this aside for one minute and I'm going to cut the one last piece okay and this is an etched die so not only is it going to cut but it's going to emboss as well and so what we'll need here for this one and it shows you right here on the base plate on the platform the kind of sandwich that you'll need so it says we need a standard cutting plate And then the die and then the paper and I'm actually going to turn this over this way so my leaves are facing the right direction and then you just put the, the other cutting plate on top and just run it through your machine just like that And then the other thing that my new favorite tool um, from Spellbinders is called the Tool-in-One. 
and as you can see it's got a brush so you can get out all those little tiny bits and it's got a paper piercer so that makes it really easy to just poke right through those little holes to get your die to get your die cut out of there okay so now that we have all our bits and pieces cut I'm gonna show you just how quickly this this little gift bag comes together so I have just a plain craft gift bag that I just bought at the craft store I've cut just a piece of pattern paper down to size I'm just gonna put a little bit bit of adhesive here on the back just place that right there and then we can adhere our little stocking die cut and I'm using a Ranger multi matte medium adhesive if you've watched any of my previous videos you'll see that I use that adhesive often for a couple of reasons um, first of all because it's a really really strong adhesive and second of all because it it dries clear and with a matte finish so if a little bit oozes out around your die cuts it's not a big deal it's not it's not as visible so I'm just going to adhere my little faux leather bow okay and before that glue dries I'm just going to tuck a couple of these little leaves underneath the bow then my finishing touch is just going to be this red button that I've tied with a little bit of white crochet thread and just like that we have a cute Christmas um, gift bag that only took about I would say start to finish about less than 15 minutes so I'll make sure and leave um, notes in the comments of where you can get these supplies and make sure you stop by and check out um, more of Spellbinders steel rolled dies and their platinum six machine I think that this is one machine that you're going to, going to want to add to your craft room. Thanks again for stopping by today. I'll see you again soon.